Trevor attended a Christmas party with his coworkers on December 7th. Um, well, and wait, when's Christmas in Ireland? Christmas? Is the same everywhere? <laughs> Welcome back, Mystery Seekers, for episode seven of season three. I am going to be telling everyone about the story of Trevor Dealey. And I know you are already familiar with this one because the, really we just talked about it when we were deciding our cases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we found out we had the same case and then Jim Oops. stole it. I did steal it, but that's fine. I already had my story done. Trevor grew up in Nas, Ireland with his family and after finishing school, moved to Dublin when he decided to take an IT course. Uh, he was described as being a little bit, I guess, kind of lost in school and not really having much direction. But once he started the IT course, really just found his niche and was pretty passionate about it. In early 1999, he began working um, in the IT department for the Bank of Ireland. So that's a pretty good stable job, especially right after finishing your schooling. And he loved his job. Everyone there loved him. He was very well liked and did really well there. During the summer of 2000, he met a girl from Alaska who was on vacation in Ireland. And in November of the same year, decided to fly to Alaska to visit her. Even though she had told him in some of their correspondence, I believe they were emailing, that she wasn't going to be available to see him. He decided to fly out anyway, which it seems like a strange choice to go when someone's like, I'm not going to be around, but he was insistent. Just a few days after returning from Alaska, Trevor attended a Christmas party with his coworkers on December 7th, so a little bit early in, in the month, and they got drinks at a couple of different locations before ending at Bucky Whaley's. I feel like every story that I'm telling has a really interesting bar name. Mm -hmm. um, before ending at Bucky Whaley's, a nightclub in Dublin. You know, by the time that Trevor left the club, it was 3.25 in the morning. This was a Thursday, by the way. So they were going out on a Thursday. Everyone still has work tomorrow. And he wasn't leaving until 3.25. Now, this night, a really bad storm had picked up. And there were, I mean, winds around 60 or 70 miles an hour. And there was a taxi strike. So he wasn't able to just go outside and hail a cab and head home. He had to walk in the storm. He started heading in the direction of where he lived, but ended up stopping at his office. Now, I don't know if that was just to get out of the storm, but either way, he ended up stopping at his office and was let in the building by security. While he was there, he ended up talking to one of his night shift coworkers. He made a cup of tea, he checked some emails, and he made a list of things that he needed to do the next day. By the time he left, it was 4.03 in the morning. It was very late. He still has work the next day. At that time, he also called a friend and ended up leaving a voicemail because the friend didn't answer. And the voicemail just said, you know, kind of vague, sorry, I missed you, we'll talk soon. And his friend ended up deleting the voicemail because it didn't really seem that important, not knowing that it was going to be the last time he heard from Trevor. So for about a half hour before Trevor even arrived at his office, CCTV footage shows a man in black waiting outside of the security gates. Now, because he worked, he worked for the Bank of Ireland, but it's not like he worked in the, the bank. You know how like banks have their own offices for everything. That's where he was. Um, I've heard some things where people were thinking maybe this guy was waiting around because it was a bank and he was hoping that someone would have money but that doesn't really make sense to me because these were more like the corporate offices, right. not the the actual like bank. Yeah, yeah. Bank. okay. So that guy was waiting around outside of the gates and Trevor before entering had spoken with him very briefly, 
no one really knows what they talked about, but you can see that on camera. And that was right before he headed inside. By the time Trevor was leaving the office, the man was gone. At 4.14 a.m., CCTV footage shows that Trevor was walking past a bank that was on the corner of this road. Um, I don't know the name of the road, and I don't think that bank is there anymore because this was back in 2000. Um, oh, really? Oh, I didn't know it happened so long ago. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, this was, this was a long time ago. Um, so the, the area is different now. Even if you went to look at it now, it wouldn't look the same as it did this night. Okay. He was heading in the direction of his apartment, so safe to say that at this point he was heading home to completely end his night. Now, just 30 seconds behind him, Irish police believe that who you see on the CCTV footage is the same man in black that had been milling around outside of the gates of Trevor's office. This was the last time Trevor would ever be seen, it was on that CCTV footage, being followed by that man. Oh my gosh. The investigation into his disappearance was halted over the weekend because when Trevor didn't show up for work the next day, a lot of people were just like, we were out late. Oh yeah. You know, we were out late, we were drinking, Trevor was out super late. Yeah, everyone so, at the office saw him. Yeah. yeah, so no one thinks that's weird because it was a late night, you know. Yeah. It takes the Friday off, starts his weekend early. His roommates were also all gone for the weekend. So nobody noticed that Trevor was gone. Oh. It wasn't until he failed to show up for work on Monday that his employer was a little bit concerned and ended up calling his family and informing them of his absence. That was when the family reported him missing, was the following Monday. It's been, at this point, three three days. His friends and family had put up missing persons posters everywhere. I mean, they were very proactive about this and they were the ones that ended up acquiring the CCTV footage and saw that man on the footage. A team had also, a team of um, divers ended up searching the nearby river and canal and they came up empty handed. So nobody is finding any evidence in the area of Trevor even kind of having been there. Um, the Irish police and Trevor's sister separately both visited the girl in Alaska that Trevor had gone to see, but that also came up with no information because she wasn't even in the country at that point and she hadn't seen him when he visited either. Um, in 2016, a new investigation into Trevor's disappearance was opened and a $100,000 reward was offered for any information. Nobody knows who the man in black on the footage is. And that man has never come forward, obviously. If they were doing something bad, I don't think that they're going to come forward and admit that it was them yeah. hanging around and then subsequently what appears to be stalking Trevor afterwards. There's no there's no answers about where he went either. It's very sad. I'm pretty sure police ended up searching an area somewhere nearby, um, somewhere in Dublin, that was, it's kind of like a, a known like drug area. And they found drugs, but they didn't find anything relating to Trevor or his disappearance. Right. Um, I think the reason that they ended up searching that area was because people said that they saw him or that maybe he was taken to the area, but they didn't find anything. Wow. Yeah. So when did he get back from Alaska? It was late November when he got back or when he left uh -huh. and he got back on the 5th. Okay. And then just two days later on yeah. the 7th was the company party. Right. Okay. And then you said, you said it was like, it was, it was like a blizzard or just snowing? No, just, just super stormy. It was really rainy. Oh, really rainy. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. So it was raining, you know, really stormy, really windy. But there was a taxi strike. So there was no way that he could get a ride home. Uh, so he had to walk. It's so frustrating. Cause it's like, why is there CCTV footage, CCTV footage of anything? What's the point of it? If it's only at like, if it, if it's this 
street corner and that's it. Like, yep. how were there not other cameras that you can backtrack and find, oh, this is where that man in black started, or this is where he was right before that. This is where he parked. Yep. This is where he went. Like, it's so frustrating. I mean, it was it's all, I'd almost rather so... have no fucking footage at all. That's, because that's it's what so I was useless. saying earlier, is it's that, you know, so you, you think that it's supposed to help keep you safe or help solve things, but n half the time, footage is really grainy and it's hard to see anything on anyway. And then if you wear a mask or do do anything to obscure yourself or your license plate or any anything recognizable about you, it's pointless. The the there was one thing I saw on a Reddit comment um, where somebody had said that they lived in Dublin around that time, around that area, and apparently that the road that he took. Um, the guy was basically saying... It wasn't saying, even a direct route. Right, it they wasn't... They were like, why would he take this road? Yeah, it was a significantly darker, um, less publicly used, and less like... It was a more off-the-beaten-path route, yep. and he took that. And why would he have taken that road if it was particularly dark and stormy? Yeah. I mean, not to you know sound like a weird fairy tale here, but it was a dark and stormy night. He's walking down a really kind of dark you know, off the beaten path road. Mm -hmm. Why did he choose that way? Yeah. Other people, I did see, I did see people talking about that and almost trying to explain why he may have chosen that route. And there is speculation that he was a smoker and that there was like a little 24 hour shop Oh, the, around the area okay, yeah. and I that he might have been that. like going to get a pack of cigarettes so you know that he so he could have them for the night it sounds reasonable to me i mean yeah. i get it yeah <laughs> yeah we know you get it yeah i get it but like <laughs> that makes sense you know if you're if you're on your way somewhere and you're like Ugh, this is gonna take so much longer but i need a pack of cigarettes i'm just gonna go this way it kind of, it does help explain it, not in the best way. And it doesn't give us more answers on where he is. No, like- But it just helps us understand why he might have taken that route to begin with. Okay, and let's say this guy's following him, what, to mug him? Then what? He just wants to steal stuff and, and maybe winds up accidentally killing him? How is there no body? How is there no sign of him anywhere? Like, yep. unless their goal was to make this person disappear, like how? I mean, it sounds kind of like a targeted attack, but even then, there'd still be more evidence. But how would that guy be at, okay, Trevor goes out for a night at a bar, yeah. and this guy waits outside his office building? On the off chance that he just happens to go to the office instead of at going home? At four in the morning? Well, yeah. And he that, does. But that's, no, yeah, but that's not something you can expect. That's just like saying that the Missy Beavers person was there on the off chance that on that day it might rain and that she chose that as her replacement right. place. Like, that's not a good way to wait for some, to, if well, you're going after somebody. Oh, oh, I see what you, you mean. You just said targeted saying, attack. Right, you're saying that that guy would have no way of knowing that he would come right, back right. to the office, right? I was thinking, because you're right, yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, that would be unusual. It would make more sense if it was like a crime of opportunity sort of thing, you know? Like, or if yeah. that guy had been waiting at his apartment or something. That yeah. would make more he sense. He came from his apartment? No, I'm saying if... Oh, if he, if was. he was waiting yeah. at his apartment and then... Later you know, Trevor leaves yeah. the bar. If Trevor yeah. goes straight home the way that you would expect someone to, if that guy was waiting at his apartment, that would make sense as it being a targeted attack. But for Trevor to leave a bar and then go to his office in the middle of the night? Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, the, I guess I was thinking it would be somebody from the bar, but if that person was there 30 minutes before he showed yeah. up, yeah. I, yeah, yeah, you guys are right, yeah. And it's, they, they're saying that it's not anyone that, like, anyone knew. Like, they don't think anyone knew this person. They just think it was, like, a stranger, like, hanging around Oh, okay, around so everybody thinks it's a crime of opportunity. It okay. wasn't like the, oh, yeah, that's the guy who normally hangs outside the office and bakes. That familiar guy that <laughs> that is always outside of this gate. No, no, no. Well, I mean, if he's a homeless, that's guy. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah but no, no one yeah, right, like right, right, yeah. Right, right. They they had never seen him before. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. And because it's the middle of the night, it's not even like it's great 
footage. There's so much of this that I wish I knew more about the country. So I could be like, well, yeah, it's Dublin, of course. Don't walk around in the dark in Dublin. But I feel like Dublin's not a place where you would have to worry about getting murdered on the street. I mean, you kind of have to worry about getting murdered on the street anyway. Which guy is this? This is the creepy That's guy? That's the guy. That's the man in black. So he's looking around. That was 30, 30 minutes. Yeah, and they, they skipped time. That's yeah. what I'm saying, they oh, skipped okay. 30 minutes. Yeah, because yeah. like nothing is happening. He's just chilling. And see, he was there for a half hour. Who's that? Um, Just someone walking by, okay. I'm pretty sure. That, Doesn't wasn't attack good, back that wasn't good enough for him. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh no, was that Trevor when he left his office? No, this is no. the time that he's arriving at his office. Yeah. So could that have been him and now he's going to go four. talk to him? That's Trevor, right? On the left. Yeah, and he's talking to the guy? Is that what's happening? I think so, yeah. <sighs> yeah. That's weird. That was weird how he just came out from the side, too. He was like, what's up, buddy? Well, he, yeah, he was. Yeah, that's he, Trevor. And, and then, then he's four, inside this is for when 30 he's leaving. Minutes, yep. Comes back out. Excited for all the stuff that happens to you tomorrow. Looks like he's got an umbrella or something. Yeah, he did. He took an umbrella from inside. Okay. Walks away. Doesn't grab him there, but I mean, there's cars going by everywhere. Yep. 15 minutes go by. That's Trevor. Oh, the footage is sped up. It's like he's trying to fucking get out of there. Yeah, it's been about this pace. Oh, okay. And that's the man in black. Yeah, so he's following, following about 30 seconds behind him. Well, wow, this footage is pretty good. It kind of does follow him for a while, at least. Oh, that's it? Yep. That's the last time he's ever seen. Okay. 3.05, he comes. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So he's chilling there. See, that just skipped 30 minutes. Yeah. That he was just standing right there. So this right guy's there. just hanging around. Which is super creepy. So that can't be Trevor. No, that one wasn't Trevor. Because then, yeah. Wait, oh, wait, oh, it yeah, went yeah, yeah. back. Yeah, it did, yeah. Went so, so look, he walks by in at- Oh, was it Trevor yeah. then? He walks in at 3.34 and 20 seconds is when, is when Trevor is like So there's Trevor. Out. Then 20 seconds later, he decides to follow him. <laughs> In 10 seconds, 15, so about 15, 20 seconds. 334. 334, 50. 334, 10. Okay. But also, I mean, to be fair, the, if they're two different cameras, I don't know. I don't know. Well, here's 20. Motion sensor goes on for the light. He's coming so, around the corner. No. Yeah, so that... That's the man in black, though. Yeah, it and is. And then Trevor comes up. Way later. Yeah, so that's got to be a different guy. Yeah. Maybe he followed the first look guy at that, thinking he was going to the gate. Look at that body language, too. Yeah, he's like, so Trevor shady. does not turn to him and won't take his hand off. He's, like, looking at him like this yeah, the whole time. Yeah, and he's holding he's the like gate. He's, like, walking. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's reaching for the key. It looks like he there's a lockbox with the key in it or something. Or there's like the chain that he has to take off. Because yeah. he does the same thing when he leaves. You can see he doesn't yeah. really want to take his there's eye that, off of him. There's that loop on the fence right there that's either locking it or... 
And I think that there's really no doubt that the person that he was talking to here is the same person that followed him because their body language is so similar. It's just crazy to think about motive because there's so many other opportunities that make more sense to do something. Right. Mm -hmm. But in the first place, why do something? If that first guy that walked by in the first clip was not Trevor, then why, 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 why didn't he follow that guy? Well, see, that's the thing. No, he like, did follow that guy. He did, but I think he thought that guy was going to the gate. Yeah. And then just it just so that happened. That guy might have crossed the road or something. Yeah, wherever that guy went, he was like, ah, shit. And then he stood by the gate, and then Trevor walks up like yeah. right after. So uh, it seemed to me like he something's going on with the building where he wanted to right. get in. Or, yeah, that's what I was But then why also follow the guy home? No, I was thinking about this could all just be around, like that maybe it's all is around the bank in some aspect, yeah. you know? Like he knows that this guy right here has access to this building. That's what a lot of people think, him down is that, you know, oh, he has a connection to the bank. He must have money, yeah. I, I, or I can get money. Yeah, maybe, maybe. But still, I mean, the, he completely walked away from the bank. It's not like he went back to the area, you know, Trevor leaves, the guy follows him. And then neither This was again. at 4.15, so this is like, down the road. Yeah, but also, yeah. So he followed him for almost 15, he followed him for 10, 10-ish minutes because he left the gate yeah. at 4.03. Yeah. Uh, so he follows him for 10 minutes down the road. Yeah. He's not even in the area of the bank anymore. Why continue trying to pursue someone for this long? I mean, it's for a crime of opportunity, it seems like he missed a lot of opportunities. I'm just thinking way more like malicious and way more like thought out than what I think you guys are getting at. Mm -hmm. I wasn't just saying like he wanted to like punch him, take his keys, break in and run away with some money. I was right, saying more like to... he wanted to access information that might be in this building and he that wants to true. maybe get a key card off yeah. of Trevor or, or what is that his name, Trevor? Yeah, Trevor. Or like something like that. He wants to get big And money. so he was just waiting for somebody who has access and then followed him into a dark alley. And He's trying to do a heist. Or something like yeah. that. Yeah, that was more so if if he was waiting outside this building for that for a reason, I feel like it would be that. Yeah, I otherwise agree with all it was that. just yeah. That makes a lot I think of that's sense. Good. Yeah. Otherwise it was just yeah, he was just waiting at a building and followed a person. Yep. Yeah. And that person disappeared forever. Yeah. Either that <laughs> or maybe he wanted to like kidnap him and extort him and be like, How do I get I don't know. I guess I I don't know how high up he was in the bank. If he's like a high ranking- He wasn't, ranking... he was just an IT guy. He oh. just worked in, in IT, nice. in the IT department. And so that's that's why it's also really strange when people start talking about like trying to get him for money is that he was just in yeah. the IT department. Yeah. He wasn't but, doing anything spectacular. I mean, there's no way that guy knew that. That guy was no, probably like, no, this guy's right. got the keys to come in at 4 a.m.? That's the CEO right there. Well, yeah. I mean, they're open all night if there's still people there just in general. Like there were people well, yeah, working but I the mean, night shift. I don't know that about a bank. Yeah. So if I saw that and I'm a dude who wants to get a lot of money, I'd be like, whoa, this is the head honcho. Maybe, He's coming yeah. at 4 a.m. There's that too, yeah. Yeah. The Alaska thing is just really weird overall. It is very strange that it's, it's, it's standout weird. Yeah. Why go there when you weren't invited? But a lot of people said that, you know, he, he had the time off, I mean, okay. off of work to take some time and like go out there for, you know, a, a, a week or so. It was and for the girl. It was, I mean, it was for the, like, if he had that time, he could go anywhere. He could spend a lot less money. He could literally go anywhere. And he was he like, I'm going to come visit he you. He didn't actually buy the tickets. Uh, one of his friends had uh, frequent flyer miles. Oh, really? And had, yeah. And he was like, can I use these? And he was like, yeah, sure. Oh, and he was like, yeah, I'm going to go to Alaska and see that girl that I saw here over the summer. And, like, people had met that girl. So, like, so she's that was all kosher. So yeah. She, he probably just went, so like, well, bad. I'm still taking a vacation. Yeah. Fuck this. And, like, the cops and everyone still went to Alaska and asked that girl. And they were like, hey, did you see him? And she was like, no, I told him that I didn't have time. Yeah. And, and he told yeah. her that the reason that he wanted to come see her at that point when she was like, sorry, I can't. He was like, oh, no, come on, like, this is when I have time, like, I'm gonna be there, you know. Oh, so he was going. Like, he was gonna go no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. His, his intent was to see her, and I think he had kind of tried to, like, convince her it to see him. It sounds more like a guilt trip. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, like, I'm gonna be there, you know, I already on, bought my ticket. Yeah, yeah. Look, that's, that's literally what it was. He that, was like, 
can I come? She was like, no, and he's like, I'm coming anyway. So he's, un <laughs> so he's unbalanced. Yeah. Not only that, even if he's drunk, the fact that he came by his office and made a list of things to do at work the next day is that I just can't imagine doing. I think it's that. odd that someone would come by the office in the middle of the night yeah. after being at a bar all night. Well, from a work party though, right? Yeah, but I'm never going to go back to my office no. after I leave a work party instead of going yeah, home not as at three thirty in the morning. You're right. As an IT guy, that doesn't make sense. No. No, it doesn't. But I could see if he was a high up guy on a salary and nope. he was like, let's see how my business is going. But if he's the IT guy, I imagine those guys wouldn't get caught dead where they work if they don't have to be. The only well, I mean, thing... he was very happy at his job. You know, yeah. everyone really liked him, but it's it's not like it was anything special. He wasn't yeah, like, exactly. you know, overseeing a, an entire like... Branch. Or yeah, yeah, he wasn't, wasn't doing... Well, I, the only thing I could, the reason I could see him dropping in is if he actually wanted knew and wanted to go visit that coworker that was working there. Yeah, like, I think he knew that that person was was working. And he's been out of the shift. country. Alaska girl's boyfriend finds out. I, flies from Alaska yeah. in a couple days. That's what I thought. I definitely thought this is like Alaska girl sent him. Fucking finds out where he works. Yeah. Hides outside. Is like, is yeah. that Trevor? That's not Trevor. Doesn't go after the first guy. <laughs> Waits afterwards, and then, like, he's like, hey, oh, nice shit, you know, you this here. is the description of that guy. This is what he looks like. And then fucking waits around for him. And... Till four in the No, I don't, to... honestly, no. I think that's a little bit far-fetched. I think that's a really dramatic story. Oh, he can kill, they can all kill themselves in the other stories, but this one, uh, no. No, There's I'm saying the Alaska girl's him, boyfriend. So they're not suicidal? I don't think it was Alaska girl's boyfriend. I think that's fucking super far-fetched. Alaska girl. Looking for Alaska. They're making that into a show. Could have just actually you just that? You haven't seen that. been like a mugging gone wrong. That's what I think. I think it was it was an opportunity and that guy oh, was literally why, just waiting him? around no, not for that. anyone like, to I show mean, up. I, I mean, sure, it could. I don't, I, if it's just a mugging, I don't think there ever needs to be a why him besides maybe he thought he might have money thought he might have money yeah but my real question is if he did if it was just a mugging how in the world did he get rid of the body well, i don't know if it was, was like thinking, a mugging so much what, what i think it could be is if there's like um like irish gangsters of some kind oh for sure you know if that guy is connected to like whatever the irish mob kind of thing would be and he just mugs people that's what he does for a living basically and this one went wrong he killed him he's like ah we got to do something Oops. with him but again, that's why I want to know more about Boss, the geography. I whacked another one. I whacked Whoopsies. Another one. We need cleanup. Sorry. Also, sorry about sorry. my accent. <laughs> this is, I don't really fit I'm in. I'm from Wisconsin. Mm. All right. Yeah. I don't. I don't know what happened. It's fucking. No, I'm pretty sure we know what happened. All right, Jen, get us the fuck out of here. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video about Trevor Dealey. I think it's a very sad case, and again with so many of these we're not really going to get many answers from the footage that we're able to find make sure you guys tune in next week for nate's case about kaylin louder we'll see you then bye <laughs>